Hi everyone, how is everything? How is everything going and how are you doing? Did you have a great weekend? Because I do. I did and I am I'm really happy that um that you had a great weekend. I think we can start to like relax and enjoy and do whatever you want for like a couple days. And it's really amazing when you don't feel that um that you're not doing anything, you know what I mean? That you're just relaxing and taking the time to do something. Okay, today I have very good news because I do have a new sponsor. You know what I'm wearing? This beautiful blue sweater. Well, it's from Fabletics. And Fabletics is supporting this little platform that I'm trying to create for all of us. And uh, they are really happy that I'm doing this project. So I get to wear tons of his clothes already because I collaborate with them every month and it is fantastic to have them on board. That means that I'm in the right path, right? Okay, so what are we talking today and what are we gonna do today? I'm really excited to let you know about House of Want. House of Want is a brand, a bags brand, very modern, very colorful, and it's really interesting. So I got to meet Kathy Sword China. She's the founder of House of Wand in her showroom. But before that, how did I introduce to Kathy? Usually, uh, as a content creator, as a person that I love fashion, art, everything out there, um, I have settled uh, an email where I speak about who I am, what I love, and what is my subject. For me, helping female entrepreneurs and for me raising self-esteem between men and women is one of the subjects that I love the most and I would love to be part of this community to help everybody to feel better at least because you know everybody has a bad day even you know the most wonderful person out there you do have a bad day I know that so I do also um so I do that and then I add my media kit we will talk very um, soon about my media kit, what I add and how I design all my photos and how I divide it. And if you have any questions, please DM me. Uh, it would be wonderful to know about you and to help you. So when I do have this kind of email set and ready, I sometimes change little things. It depends on the brand because I try to make it very personal, not just like a a uh, subtle thing that it doesn't move and everybody gets the same. I don't think that's interesting. When you receive an email, you want to feel that the person has been doing a research about you and about everything that is going on out there. Okay, so what's going on? Well, he's telling me that we're telling your followers that you started a live video. Love it. Amazing. So, um, how's a want is a has a what? Sorry, has a wand. It's a wonderful brand that is really getting like all the outfits that I'm trying to promote and I'm trying to like make them better. The little uh, presents and bags and everything that I'm adding to it, it makes my outfit amazing. When I emailed Kathy the first time, she was so amazing. Her answer was like, okay, Vanessa, I'm gonna send you a bag and you can do whatever you want with it. And I was like, oh my God, that is really amazing that she just sent me a bag. And of course I did a pose and of course I did stories and she's been sending me bags for like two years already, three years. And um, I got the chance to take them to, um, to New Year Fashion Week and it was very exciting. So, um, Kathy is texting me, are you live yet? <laughs> Yes, I am life. Oh, I got. Oh, I got Crystal. So hi, Crystal. I'm gonna have Kathy here, and then I'm gonna do one day what I can get to talk to a lot of people. Also, um, so I've been working with Kathy for three years already. Today we have the chance to see her showroom, and today we have the chance to speak to a founder of a brand, and she is going to tell you what she thinks about everything, and the industry, and the influencers, and the models she works with. So guys, um, I'm gonna see if Kathy is around here. 
Let me see. I guess Kathy is not here. <laughs> I already invited Kathy. Let's see if she answers. This is her first IG live, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh my God, there you are. I'm here. Hi, Vanessa. Happy Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday, Kathy. How's everything? Oh, everything's a delight. A delight every day. I'm in our studio, which always makes me smile. That's great. I can see all the bags. Oh, look. I came ready. Oh, sneak peek for holiday 21, which believe it or not, we are entering any moment now. A little I spark, know. a little shine. I know. I love it. Kathy, how's been your weekend? It was good. I first wanted to just say thank you so much, Vanessa, for inviting me to this venue. I remember when you and I first met, and it was right before COVID. We had no idea what the world was about to look like, but I just remember meeting you, and there was just such a bright light coming from you. And I was nervous about our presentations and excited at the same time, but you just felt had me feeling so grounded with your genuine authentic, kind. I mean, of course, anyone that can look at you is like, oh, what a beautiful woman. But when we really get to talking and understand what's inside your soul and inside your being, and then to now get to know you and hear all the things that you're setting out to do and accomplish, very inspiring. And anyone that gets to know you will be as humbled as I am to do so. So I just thank you so much for including me today. Thank you so much, Kathy, because I, I'm here because people like you and your generosity and your time are making this little platform that I'm trying to create more useful for everybody. That's what I want, that everybody gets to connect and get to know each other. So, Kathy, tell us about your change, because you changed your whole career. I did. I have been kind of, I've always been for the most part in the handbag industry. My friends joke, I'm a bag lady, but I've always been kind of behind the scenes. A lot of times in our business designers, maybe they're, you know, their foray is more in apparel or footwear and they go out in what they call licensing. And so I was always behind the scenes in some, some very fabulous designers out there that I'm sure we would all know the names mm -hmm. of. And I was kind of focused in the handbag category. So we would get the license to use their name, design, create, not only the product, but the brand strategy within the handbag category. And it was a really exciting time. And there was always, you know, the business was always changing, but I had my own ideas at the end of the day. And the more I learned about the business and the more I, you know, obviously you either are born in love with fashion or you're not, I obviously was. Yeah. And I just had this idea, I'm like, there's such a fabulous vibe in New York City. And while my day to day isn't as fabulous as it used to be, <laughs> to the COVID, I always just thought there was something about how fashion can make you feel empowered and beautiful and inspired. And you don't have to follow necessary any lane or trend or whatever it is, but if you own it and rock it and you put your shoulders back, you kind of can feel like you can take on the world. And so I was so blessed to get this brand concept off the ground and have the company, uh, the parent company invest in myself and my designer, Ju Kang. And I was truly, the timing of it, you could call it unfortunate or you can call it wildly fortunate, but about six weeks before COVID is when we had kind of, um, signed all the papers and I came over here to their new showroom in their office and I was able to set up our product and meet with incredible, you know, fashionistas and influencers and um, bloggers to present what the concept was. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people obviously had so much tragedy during COVID and, you know, I, I don't undermine that, but for us, it was a time to sit back and really map out the intention for the brand full force. What's the intention? What's the ethos? Now I knew this inherently, but how can I bring it to life through website and or Instagram and through brand mantra? The product part's easy. What's in my soul and heart about what the brand stands for? Easy. But how do you bring it to life in a professional environment? And then, you know, how really do you manifest your dreams and bring them to reality by engaging with the incredible community yourself wildly included at the top of my list? and take all of that and bring it to the forefront. 
It's absolutely amazing. And I think all this pandemic time, it gave us the time to sit and recreate something new and be creative about what I want to do next. And I know a lot of people that they changed everything that they were tired of and now they're doing something amazing. Like yourself, like other people. Like I did have that experience too. What do I want to do with my life? What am I doing right now? <laughs> am I happy or not? Right. It's true. It's Sorry, that is like really amazing. And um, about your bags, first of all, I want to know like, what's your audience for you? Do you see everybody with your bags? Do you see like more youngest? Do you see like, because I can see a lot of trend outfits out there, a lot of ages wearing them. Well, I love that you see that because that's absolutely the intention. At the end of the day, the product is PETA approved, which means we're using all PETA vegan leathers. So that part's great. That allows us to stand for something, you know, that a lot of people in the fashion industry are trying to pivot and navigate the world's, you know, climate a little bit differently. And so having a PETA approved collection is really special and allows the price points to be more accessible. I don't ever love to call us trendy. I always love to make certain that we're trend relevant. I'm the kind of girl that I've kept a lot of pieces in my closet for many, many years, ones that feel special and emotional to me. It wasn't about the price tag or the brand name per se. It was there something about the color, the shape, the style that made me feel fabulous. Now, again, I live in New York City, so that closet is not as large as I would like, because I'd imagine I'd probably have quite a few other things there. But when you talk about who our audience is, I don't know. Did you love a plaid that we offered, a polka dot, a, a purple and orange? I hope you're rocking it and I hope you find something in your wardrobe. Maybe it's from 15 years ago, maybe it was from last week, but that you added this little piece of what we love to call arm caddy to your look and all of a sudden you feel like new, fresh and fabulous and walking down the street. I'm a 50 year old woman with the spirit of maybe an 18 year old and that's cool. I mean, if you love fashion, it could be 190 for all I care. I hope you just love the bag. Oh, yes. Great. And you wear your arm candy when you were like 96 and you're just walking it. I do. Exactly I want to that. <laughs> you know what it is? I say all of a sudden, and I think COVID, I always, I keep going back to this. It was very challenging for a lot of people to just get up and try to look great. And I'm not going to lie and sit here and tell you, oh, every day I put my lashes on and did my hair. But I will tell you the days that I made the smallest effort and just even if it was a t-shirt and jeans and I put on a little bag, I noticed that I walked differently. I carried myself differently. I felt differently. And there's just something I always go back to. Fashion makes you feel fabulous, but fashion, your fashion, what do you love? What makes you feel gorgeous and sexy and empowered? And that's what I want to create product for. I want you to be able to be able to afford to rock the look, whatever your look is. If it brings you a huge smile and makes you feel like you can take on the world to go after the dreams, whatever inspires you, that's that's what I care about. That's fabulous. I know that you have a very like a very generous spirit and I love all your energy. It's really amazing. It's like it's more than just making bags. There is there is something going on, a message coming through. And talking about the message, um, I'm very interested because you just work with influencers, right? For the most part, and I, I, I think the term influencer is a very misleading yeah. terminology because I certainly don't look at how many followers, what their engagement is. I'm sure there's an algorithm to all of it. I don't have time to pay it mind. I'm more just excited. And when you say work with, we wouldn't be here as a brand without the incredible community of influencers. And why I say that is because we're not a big company that has any budget to quote market and get it out there. Mm -hmm. So I've been so blessed and humbled that so much of the influencer community um, has been able to utilize Instagram to help us show our product to the world. So when you say work with, I think that means different things to different brands. We have created a platform in that we're showing your look to our audience and hopefully our audience is growing each day. But the influencer may have six followers, they may have 600,000 followers, but we're working with everyone in that way in that if they're shooting a look and they're posting it on Instagram, I'm humbled and smiled each and every tag we get 
and we're resharing that to kind of just pay homage back to the community that put us on the map. My career, I, I say it's been over 30 something years, and I don't know if this is off tangent or not, and I apologize, but I am a run on sentence. Back in the day to get your brand out there, and I'm going back 20, 30 years, it was really much more pay to play. And that was a terminology in the industry. So let's just say department store X, Y, or Z, let's say the buying group and the fashion office liked what you had to offer. It was likely um, a pay to play type of situation. Okay, we'll put you in our fall fashion catalog and it's going to cost X amount of dollars. And if you paid X more amount of dollars, you could be on the cover. Well, we're so lucky that we live in a world where talent is found and discovered differently, not just in the fashion world. We look at reality television or we look at Instagram and talent comes in very different. We can expose ourselves to talent very differently. And I think I love that I've been watching the industry change in that way. Yeah, I think now is more is even. Everybody that has a talent can put it out there and can make something out of it. Mm -hmm. And you don't need people in the middle. You just we need to be creative and smart and go out there and also believe in what you're doing. Yes. And I know that you believe in personalities, style, and people. I believe in all of that. So that's why um, I'm going to put this out there because um, whether you are influencer, content creator, dancer, artist, whatever, uh, if you are creative, amazing, and you have a style and a personality that, you know, is generous and is great out there and the vibe is amazing. You can also collaborate with Kathy. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you know that? So this is very impressive because um, I know there are so many young people out there trying to put themselves out there and they're doing tons of things. And I get questions, what should I do? How should I do it? And it's like, okay, prepare something amazing, how you introduce yourself. That's how I started this conversation. Um, how would you like to be approached, Kathy? Well, I think there's something that as human beings, particularly female, <laughs> empowered in beings, that we connect to the heart and the soul of someone. And not everyone has as much, quote, talent as the other guy, but do you have passion? Do you really stand behind what you're trying to get out into the world? And can I sense that? I think, Vanessa, for you, when I met you, I go back to this. Of course, you're a strikingly beautiful woman with an incredible aesthetic with chic and gorgeous fashion. But you know what impressed me more or spoke to me more is your genuine, elegant, graceful heart. And, I can, and you can feel that in people. And I think the reason social media gets bad raps and it gets wonderful raps and it's about the relationships and the community and it's how you communicate to people. We don't have time to speak and do IG lives every day with every single person that we wanna connect with, but it's a simple DM or a simple email or whatever it is. And I can feel your heart through seven words of engagement. Hey, I wanna collaborate with you. That's lovely. Do you wanna, tell me a little bit more about yourself. Do you want to have a little bit more grace and take a little bit more time to articulate yourself? Because I'm always about your presentation of yourself is what you're showing to the world, how you communicate, how you word. I'm not asking you to study the Webster's dictionary and come out with the most unique words on the planet and write me a novel, <laughs> but it takes a few words for me to really know quickly and vehemently like, what do you stand for and what are you so excited about? I'm not asking you to tell, write, tell me how lovely and cute I am. I mean, because that's irrelevant. Because I want you to are. For sure. <laughs> Some days better than others. But I want to know, like, what like, are you so excited about? You, we talk about putting our talent out there. Some people are, have more talent in my fingernail than 10, but how much hustle are you going to put behind it? How much effort? It does not happen overnight. I have been working at this for 30 years and I'm not there yet, but I'm clawing my way every day. And sometimes we're not sleeping, mm. but I go back to this. I'm trying my hardest every day. I'm trying to be kind and graceful and elegant every day. Am I? Probably not so much. My husband will not answer that the same, but my you favorite know. smile today, right? And, and how do we do that? And how do we show the world what we're trying to accomplish, you know? But the funny thing is sometimes you spend like five or 10 years in a row, like nonstop and, and 
just going through everything. And one day, life just changes with that is true. one little opportunity. And That's you're ready right. for it. And you can't be sleeping when it's happened. No, you got you got to take that train. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a hundred percent right. And I and I have to say this: I feel like you just struck a nerve with me. Especially if you remember when we met a year and a half ago, I was why was I nervous? Because a lot had happened, and I could have given up so many times. I certainly won't bore our um, audience today, but you heard a little bit of it that day. I went through a lot. We all have our stories, and we have all been maybe kicked down one too many times. But what do you do? Try a different angle. No one's going to tell you yes every minute you want to hear the yes. Mm -hmm. Keep trying. And if you're told no once, twice, three times, okay, let's be open-minded. There's something about a reality check as well as passion and really trying to be able to read the room, put the two messages together. Okay, let me make sure I'm listening to the signs from the universe properly and pivot accordingly, but stay on your lane. You know what I'm saying? Stay, yeah. what was the goal? It doesn't mean you might not pivot as you try to get to that goal and accomplishment. But again, I go back to, if you really believe in something, I think you're, community and the people that you meet along the path will sense that and help you accomplish that you know so i totally agree with that i mean when you it's like sometimes i was talking with a friend yesterday and it's all about making the choice you make the choice like i'm making this happen and suddenly out of the blue things connect and something will start happening but you have to really commit to your choice and the decision. And that's when things happen. Because sometimes we are like, yeah, I want to be an actor, but are you committed to it? Are you all for it? Are you spending your, investing your money on what you have to do? I want to become a model, a content creator, whatever it is. Are you doing the right steps? Are you committed to it? Yeah. Because if it's have and have, it will never happen. That is 100% true. I, I, I don't know how much time we have today, but I think there's something about the power of manifestation that people talk about it all day long. And I remember when I was feeling low back when the hustle wasn't connecting and I was just, am I, am I missing the signs? Am I going down the wrong path? And I used to write myself every night. And I, the email was manifest this check. And I would respond to myself every night and taking the times. And it was wild how the things that I started writing would come true. But before I got to that place, the day one of that, I would listen to other people speak about that. You need to put your dreams out into the world. I actually didn't think I understood what my dreams were. It seems so obvious to me now. And mm -hmm. it, seems, it seems so obvious the day it clicked, but you, how you said one thing in life could trigger your brain and all of a sudden you have the path. That path might have been mapped out for you this entire time, but you have to be open to and receptive to hearing the signs. And I'll never forget this. One of our friends in the community, Juanita is her name. She's a lovely person. I didn't know her that well. It was something about a simple, elegant, lovely interactions through DM, small thing. She uh, posted, she was in Miami swim week and mm -hmm tagged the product and it was something about that sparkly <laughs> filter and I had like an out-of-body experience and it compelled me to put pen to paper or should I say thumbs to my phone and start that first of many 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 to this day manifestation things putting them into the universe and it's such a powerful thing and I just say to anyone who's listening who maybe doesn't believe in it I didn't either I didn't get it I also didn't know what I I don't know what my journey is supposed to be. I don't actually know what I want my dream. I don't know what my dream is. I did the whole time. I don't think it clicked and, and I just keep open-minded for all of it. Yeah, but sometimes you gotta let life surprise you. Absolutely. Because I used to control it. Like I want this and it has to happen yeah. like this. And then it came in another form and I missed it because I didn't see it the way I wanted it. So at the end of the day is like, let it surprise, like, like, like trust on life. 
trust the things are happening and trust that you're doing all you can and you're meeting the right people and you're being all generous and you're being out there. And another thing that is very important is that most artists, because we constantly doubt about ourselves, we constantly think that it's not enough. I'm not good enough. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. When is going to be perfect? When are you going to be perfect? You gotta be working and getting better and better and better. And I think being brave is one of the things that makes the change. I so love that you just said that. I got the chills when you said all that. It's so true. It's re it really resonated with me, Vanessa. Beautiful. It is. And bringing the braveness, um, brave day out of it, um, into the situation, into the conversation. I would like for you to talk about the new face that you are collaborating with, because I'm, I'm very, um, how can I say it? Like I admire her so much that it's like really, we spoke the other day mm -hmm. about her, uh, but I want you to really introduce Mikaela here and, and speak a little bit about your collaboration with her and why it happened. You know, like I say, there, I am very humbled any time we are tagged. And yes, we're tagged more today than we were two years ago. The excitement I get each time is no different than the first. You know, but like we said earlier, we all have days that it's a little harder or a lot harder than others to get out of our own way, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I was just having one of those, oh, woe is me days. And I sat down at the end of this day and was looking and I, you know, at our messages and we're tapped and I'm struck by a beautiful radiant smile of a young woman named Michaela, who obviously has some physical challenges that I believe that she was um, born with. And it was something I, I dug in a little deeper just to like read up and get to meet her a little bit. And I was just so overcome. It was one of those out of body experience again with how her challenges and her ability to be elegant and beautiful and graceful every minute while she's putting herself out there through her IG platform. And she has a really incredible audience. And it just snapped me back into perspective for a minute. And we all have challenges and that doesn't mean, you know, some are worse than others and some are better than others. We all have challenges, but it was just that moment of strength that I'm reading up on how she faces every day and how she chooses to smile each day and chooses to be transparent about what her reality of her life is. And what had humbled me is that, how did she discover House of Want? I'd love to say we're on everyone's radar. We're still small and crawling our way up into being a rec super recognized brand. But it was someone else um, that doesn't know her all that well, but was also inspired by her and her strength and her generosity and her chic fabulousness and sent her gift from Nordstrom, which is how she discovered us. And I always talk, go back to kindness and elegance and grace and how we can support each other and how we can lift each other up and how it doesn't take away from anything that you're trying to accomplish. But you know what? She made Michaela's day by sending her a delight and made mine times a thousand so much more. I, I can't tell you what that was. And we, um, like we would anything, post her content, followed her back. She's over the moon. You're over the moon because we're following you. No, we're over the moon. Thank you so much. And thanks for creating content with our bags. And it made, it made me excited. I hope one day when I'm less nervous about COVID, I know we're coming out of it. I look forward to meeting her and hopefully she will make a trip to see one another and go from there. She's a lovely spirit. And I only hope to get her to know her much, much more. I know, I know. I was, I was very inspired when I saw the her face in the new like I told her welcome to the family I was like oh my god this is so cute it is great I think I think everything is changing and we are allowing that we are all the same and we are not different and we need to learn from each other and also um your life if you are um open out there your life can be easier just by thinking and learning from other people's experiences. And I think most of the issues, social issues that we get to have, it's because we don't get to know each other. 
right. so we are living apart and if we bring down the walls and just don't make so many boundaries and just bring them together uh everything changes and we get to know one another and i think that's what makes us complete at the end of the day because we need each other I couldn't agree more. I think there's something, I always, I, I always phrase it bizarrely, but I say, let's get out of our own way. Again, being so self-absorbed isn't helping you evolve. You know, it doesn't mean you need challenges and horrible circumstances to make you, you know, the strong people, you know, we're often putting on pedestals or really um, giving good platforms to people who have wildly challenging stories and things that they've overcome. Well, you don't need to have had tragedy to overcome and learn and be your best self. It's to your point of getting to know others, hearing what others struggle with, and then learning from that and embracing that and maybe lifting them up because I guarantee you that'll lift you right back up as well. You know, living in your own bubble mm -hmm. isn't helpful <laughs> at all. And just being open-minded and listening to each other is really, really important, especially in this wild world <laughs> that we live in. You know, we, it is craziness. You know, I, I see a lot in my commute, just from downtown to midtown, not that, certainly not that far, no, not far, but you see a lot. And yeah. people get angry when they see X, Y, or Z. My heart breaks, what happens to this person? Why are they suffering at this world? And no, I'm, I'm, st I'm probably, I'm not going to lie to everyone and say, I'm going to stop everyone on the street and hear their story and become the best self I can be. No, that's not reality of what I can do. Not today anyway. But I do love hearing, new, meeting new people and just hearing what everyone goes through because then it just puts the things that you're stressed out about for the day into some sort of a perspective and maybe you can tackle it more productively. And then I go back to this. The universe is sending every one of us some signs. If we're not clouded by self-absorption, mm -hmm. we can perhaps be more open-minded to hear what the universe is trying to tell us and share with us. And maybe we can conquer that much more, you know? Totally. And get more creative. When you're relaxed and you're in your center, you get more creative. So the way you can approach someone, it starts being more lovely and relaxed in yourself. Because I think you have to approach people the way you are. This is not, it's a business, but at the same time, we're humans. So you don't look, you don't want to look like a robot every time you talk to someone. Mm -hmm. And it's not everything about money or everything about the bags or whatever. It's how you build the relationships. And yeah. that will take you further than just having one job, one time, and then true. it's over. That is true. That is 100% true. The bags do make us smile, but I think it's the people and the relationships that really fill our hearts. Exactly. Well, you know, I mean, this bag is making me very happy. <laughs> the shimmer is shine bright, dance all night, baby. I love that one. That's a new sneak peek. And behind me is some spring goodies, but I didn't want to give away too much right now. We're mm -hmm. actually going into what we call market week uh, today, tomorrow, mm -hmm. where retailers will see the new collection. That's on the other side of my phone here, but we're showing summer 22. And there's a lot of fun colors definitely feeling pastels and sorbet colors, some cool trend relevant plaids, if you will, which I'm very excited about. And denim, 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 not going away. Very much loving it. I love denim, oh my God. And Kathy, uh, if anyone out there would like to approach you to help you with the bags, to you know get to know you, what's the best way to connect with you? IG, baby. It's me. I love to say we have this huge team behind us. If I don't get back to you right away, it's because I have a day office job where we have to do presentations and orders and interact with retailers. But it's me. And I do. I try my very best to um, be authentic, first and foremost. I am not a robot, but I am one person. But please reach out. I would love to hear from all of you. And it doesn't mean you have to purchase a bag and connect for me to notice. I notice everything. So I'm here, I'm here. And also when can we purchase your bags? Where are they right now? Well, our biggest retail partner, um, aside from our own website, which is 
houseoflaunt.nyc. We're launching a new collection next week, but there's some gorgeous arm candy on there right now, which I'm loving. <laughs> We're aligned with Nordstrom and Shopbop, so you can also go there um, for similar pieces and what have you, but very excited about our retailers. That is so great. I'm so happy, Kathy, that things are flowing in the right direction, that your bags are amazing. Like every time I see one of your posts, it's like, oh my God, where's this where that came from? Thank you. Well, yeah. I have to just say this to anyone who may feel defeated in an hour for whatever reason, this is not easy. We're having our own nonsensical struggles with the ports and the vessels and the, this. And you know, I'm, I keep saying we're going to market tomorrow. Well, I would have liked to start today, but some of our packages got stuck at the FedEx facility. So, you know, every day is an obstacle, but you have to just smile and move on because we'll figure it out. We're not creating uh, cures for horrible diseases. So there's a reality check here too, but if I can make someone smile, great. And I got to just keep it cool. <laughs> Totally. Like, be honest with yourself and <laughs> laugh at yourself. I'm trying to laugh much more because after so long being sick and crazy, I was sick and crazy, you still married, not. but I don't know for how long <laughs> because I was really in a bad shape. So after going through all that, I'm just like building up step yeah. by step. And really, that's why I started to do this, to like... <laughs> Be out there and be just honest. It's like there is no perfection. There is nothing like that. And it's boring now. You just need to be yourself because every person is completely different. And I think that's the best part of it. Your story and your strength and grace and elegance and determination will help so many people. I am so happy that you started Lunch with Nessa. I, you're, you're changing lives as we speak and it's only going to get stronger. You are like the epitome of a role model for a lot of women or, and men and whomever wanting to get out there and just do better, be better, or strive for something. You overcame a lot and you're continuing to do so because every day is challenging, but you are doing it with such grace and chic elegance every minute and every step of the way, a real role model, a real ambassador for all of it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it because I really would love to help as many people as I can. And when I was back in my into my teaching i remember how teenagers hassle and how they suffer and i remember when i was a teenager it is a very difficult time so if you focus yourself and you start doing great things uh you can achieve tons of things very a very young age and be happy you know because it's very difficult to maintain that happiness in a constant level day by day and not let anything stop you or you know put you down because it's not worth it at the end of the day. That is true. And the good news is we happen to live in a world where you can accomplish things at any age if you're ready to just put in the work and be committed to it and know it's, uh, what's the expression? It's not a race. It's a marathon, slow and steady and just keep at it. Try not to get discouraged, but it's okay if you do and just keep at it and just try to I go back to grace and grit, grace and grit every step of the way. Totally. And have fun. We are having fun. That's why we are having this conversation to have fun, to get to know each other, to know that uh, things are going great. Yeah. And we will have a bad day. Of course we will. Course. But, you know. Halfway through this uh, lovely chat, all of a sudden the ring light went off. I'm like, I don't know how to get back on. And that was the biggest problem I had. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it just like got really dark all of a sudden. <laughs> The behind the scenes techno, I said that to you. I said I'm technologically challenged, <laughs> but fabulous always. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you something. This is my third life, and I don't know how I'm going to save this video, okay? <laughs> so don't worry about that. Do not ask me. I was having a panic attack. I was like, we have a coworker here. Jenna, you're still in a meeting, but I don't, I don't know how to say hello, but it, it worked out. It worked And out. I can help you offline. I think I do know how to do that. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> okay, Kathy, you're a wonderful human. Thank you so much. Oh, I love your nails. <laughs> oh, House of Want on brands, lavender, lavender. Oh, Can't help myself. That is so great. <laughs> Thanks for noticing, darling. Love it. <laughs> I know. I saw that. I'm a disaster with my nails. It's just no. about colors. No, it looks just good. It looks good. We have a behind the thing. We have nothing but like lavender candy. That's what oh. I do. Okay. I, I stay in, stay on the plan. <laughs> Thank you.
Vanessa, so much. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. And thank you again so much for including me here. It's a real honor. I appreciate it. Thank you, Kathy, for your time. Have a wonderful time on your market and keep doing those beautiful bags. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'll see you soon, my love. Bye. Bye. You know how to turn it off? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it. It says leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, everyone. Uh, I think I'm having some kind of issues today with my life because I don't have enough people watching and they are posting constantly. We're trying out a simpler version of live. And I think this is not working out, but I'm going to save it. I have a YouTube channel as well that I'm going to start posting on um IG uh, and also on YouTube of course and you're gonna have all my lunch with my lunches with Nessa and YouTube and I hope you enjoy them I hope you have fun getting to know Kathy and next week I got more surprises but I'm not gonna tell you I'll tell you in the stories have a wonderful week see you next Monday <laughs>